Principal sir, respected teachers, and all my beloved friends. Today, I, Brishti Pramanik, a student of class seven, going to tell a recitation which is known as "Waiting" by Ravindranath Tagore. The song I came to sing remains unsung to this day. I have spent my days in stringing. and in unstringing my instrument the time has not come true the words have not been rightly said and there is the agony of wishing in my heart i have not seen his face nor have i listened to his voice only i have heard his gentle footsteps from the roads before my house the lamp has not been lit and i cannot ask him into my house i live in the hope of meeting with him but this meeting is not yet thank you and have a nice day my name is ravi pramanik i am from class 4 section a my roll number is 26 I am going to sing a song which is taken from a famous animated movie Coco where a dad sang this song for his little daughter Remember me Though I have to say goodbye remember me Don't let it make you cry Many fun far away I hold you in my heart I sing a secret song to you each night we are apart Remember me Though I have to travel far remember me Each time you hear a sad guitar know that You're in my arms again. Remember me. Thank you. 
So let me clear. It's a wrong logic. You can't prove it. And it's the question about menstruation. So it's a biological process. It's never a cause for what you are taking birth. So you should thank that woman who is giving birth to you. Next point is about toys and colors. I think you have heard saying girls should choose pink color and boys should choose blue color. So God has not decided that girls should choose pink color. It's a color it does not have any life. So don't discriminate in them also. I think you have heard saying that girls can't go out during late night because they can't do her self protection. Why they can't do? Don't they have legs? Don't they have hands? The, she is also a human being. The boy is also a human being. If the boy can do her self protection, why not she? She can do it. Just trust her. She can. My last point is about girl can't drive cars. How they can fly an aircraft? So have you seen that she are she is able to drive a car or not? If not, please don't tell this. An aircraft is a machine. It does not know the person sitting behind is a male or a female. So they too have to be equally capable. Mind it. Life of a girl is never easy. So you should respect her. And uh, in the life, in the last, I want to say that she was unstoppable. Not because uh, she does not have failures or doubts, because she continued despite of that. So you should respect her. Thank you and have a nice day.
The efforts of the students and teachers resulted in great performances. It's my privilege again to propose a vote of thanks speech in this program. Firstly, I would like to thank our Honorable Principal Sir. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Yes, it is our Principal Sir who always provides directions and motivations to us to learn and try out new ways to do things better. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to further extend my thanks to our honorable teachers and students for making this event beautiful and mesmerizing. Mahatma Gandhi says, every home is a university and the parents are the teachers. When schools and families work together, children do better. Good parental support helps children to be positive, healthy and a good lifelong learner. A heartfelt thanks to our lovely parents. Once again, I thank to one and all for being part of today's program. Thank you so much.